Hello, in this video we're going to set up Box2D so it has the debug renderer or debug mode enabled. So what is the debug renderer or debug draw, debug mode, whatever you want to call it. Debug renderer is essentially a way of seeing our physics bodies. I've got this little project set up based on some code that I got off this awesome website. There'll be a link in the description so feel free to check that out. But if I run it, we've got a ground and when we click we spawn some boxes. And when we spawn them, all of these boxes have their own physics bodies. The ground also has physics bodies as well. A physics body I should say. Each one of these boxes is an image and the ground is also an image as well. We can see where the collision is taking place at that point there, at that point here, here, here. But the issue is, we're just seeing a sprite, an SFML sprite to be exact. No matter whether you're using an SFML sprite, an SDL image, a something in Allegro, or in anything else, you could be using your own custom engine. It does not matter because Box2D, once you've got it set up, you can just use it with any of them. And this tutorial has no specifics for actual frameworks like that we've got a video for windows so feel free to check that out if you want to set up box 2d box debug renderer on visual studio but we want to be able to see our physics bodies and here is an example of why you would want to see it if i increase the resolution so i've just doubled the height doubled the width so it's just quadrupled the resolution we'll get a bigger window now if we click here that's fine, that's working the way we would expect. Click here, it's working the way we would expect. What happens if I click here? You would think that the items would hit the ground, but that's because the physics body is only this size. It's only half the size of our, or half the width of our ground, though it looks like it should be the entirety of the width of the window. But because we can't see the physics bodies, it's hard to tell. Physics bodies are really useful. To set them up, really simple. If you just go to, let me just open up a browser. And if you go to our GitHub page where for this tutorial, well, there'll be a link in the description. You just need to download some code files. If you go to Box2D Debug Draw Renderer, you go to Xcode and then you want to go to SFML tutorial. You want to download the b2glDraw.h and b2glDraw.cpp. Does that just say CP? Oh, I'll have to sort that out. That should actually say CPP and not just CP. I'll sort that out after this video, but never mind about that. If you download those two files, add them to your project i've already got them in my folder like so so i'm just going to add them as i normally would so right click add files like so i'm actually just going to rename that there we go and what we can do now is just include it so we're going to do hash include b2 gl drawer h and now we can set up our debug renderer to set it up we just create an object i'll be called b2 gl draw and i'm going to call it debug instance you just need to do world or whatever the name of your world is dot set debug draw and we just pass in the debug instance like so we just need an unsigned int, which will essentially be a set of flags to set up our debug drawer. I'm just going to assign it the value of zero at the moment. And what is this moaning about? It's saying debug instance, no viable conversion from B2GL drawer. Ah, sorry, it should be a reference to it, like so. I'm just going to add some flags, so flags plus equals B2 draw colon colon we're going to do e underscore shape bit we're going to add all of the different flags you can disable these by just either removing the line or commenting it out the more flags you have the more debug drawing you do 
the more of a negative impact it has on your performance. But you will not have any of this enabled when you actually publish your application and distribute it. So the next flag we're going to do is joint bit. And I'm actually going to paste it three times because there's a total of five flags. There's AABB bit, there's pair bit, and finally there is center of mass bit. The only last thing we need to do is put a semicolon here. For the flag setup is just do debug instance dot set flags and we just assign the flags that we've just created like so and there's only one thing left to do in the code and that is to actually draw the debug data so we just do world dot draw debug data like so and now if we run it let's see what happens okay we've got an error so yes fantastic this error has occurred because we haven't included op the OpenGL library if you go to your project go to build phases link binary with libraries click the plus button search for OpenGL.framework and now we, if we run it we'll get a successful build and now as you can see there's a line here that indicates the top of the physics body and it goes into it this obviously this background is obviously gray so it's a little hard to see but if we add some boxes you can actually see the physics bodies and all of the other different debug drawing and you can see how the physics bodies are changing as the shape is rotating and hitting other objects so that's it for setting up the debug renderer in box 2d recommend that you always do this when you're programming in box 2d always set up some sort of debug mode in your project it's, it's fantastic to show you any problems that you're having if you have any questions feel free to post them on our educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description along with links to the source code from this video and the source code just to get it set up without the debug rendering mode but with this cool physics little simulator and yeah that is it if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day